Hi, I'm Mark Frazier. Exploring wildlife right in our own backyard is the best way to learn to appreciate them and therefore protect them. You're invited to join me on the exciting wildlife adventures. Welcome to Nature Walks. Living time machine, Lake Champlain has hidden the secrets of the past for many years. One of the best examples of that has to be the Burlington Bay Horse Ferry. It's a team boat. They were used at a time before steamboats showed up in the 1850s. They reached their heyday in the 1830s and 40s and were actually powered by horses walking on a giant disc hidden underneath the structure of the decking. The thought of seeing this amazing vessel was too good to pass up. So the dive team assembled, we chartered a vessel in Burlington Bay, and we headed out. As we made our way towards the open water, I couldn't help but think about this vessel. It was actually an example of renewable energy. Steamboats didn't even exist yet on this watershed. What an incredible thought. This vessel would have two horses on it, one facing the bow and one facing the stern. With every step they took, a giant wheel hidden underneath the decking would turn a paddle wheel at the back of the boat. There was one on each side, and these boats were actually capable of six knots, which is incredible. The day was a bit cloudy on the dive, and the water was getting very choppy, which was really interesting because we had charted a barge, so we didn't have a lot of room between the water and the side of the boat. We had a quick safety discussion, and we were going to dive to a depth of 50 feet, so we did an equipment check and off we went. This amazing vessel discovered in 1983 is part of the Lake Champlain Underwater Historic Preserve. The yellow buoy is made to protect the vessel. You're not allowed to anchor here, just tie off to the buoy. Entering the water is like going back in time. The shipwreck is marked with a sign explaining what it is and asking for divers to protect it. I was amazed at how well preserved this vessel really is. Suddenly, an entire school of yellow perch comes swimming above the decking of this vessel. This is a beautiful sight, and it stops me in my tracks. In the distance, I spot something that catches my eye. I cannot believe what I'm looking at. This is actually one of the paddle wheels from the ship. Just imagine, in between each of these forks, a plank would reside. These would spin, which is what actually propelled this incredible vessel. Paddle wheels on either side of the ship were connected to a gear that was connected to a disc that the horses would be walking on. The sheer size of this vessel really is mind-blowing. It's 23 feet wide and 63 feet long. We're going from one paddle wheel to the next, the side 23 feet view, and look at the distance. It really is amazing that this was powered by two horses. As we pass the center shaft, I can see what looks like a freshwater sponge sitting on this incredible vessel. Invasive mussels like zebra mussels have certainly taken their toll on shipwrecks like this, so it's important we monitor their growth. When we finally reach the starboard side of the vessel, we see that its paddle wheel is also intact. Incredible. Proper buoyancy on this dive is critically important. The slightest bump into the wood or framing here could cause serious damage to this beautiful historic ship. Although the planking here has long since gone away, we can clearly see this practical and simple design of the paddle wheel. Each one of these stems is forked and you could just slide a board in the center of it. As I begin to admire the nooks and crannies and the fine details of the vessel, 
I see a lot of fish hiding underneath the planking and decking of the structure. It turns out to provide a home for many different species. One of the members of the team spots something beautiful along the structure of the ship. There's this gorgeous yellow perch proudly displaying right on top of this post and he even holds his ground. Our air is starting to get low, so we begin to make our way towards the bow of the vessel. We're looking for the wheel, the thing that the horses walked on that actually powered the ship. So far we can't find it because most of the bottom appears to be covered in silt. I can't help but imagine what the world was like at the time that this vessel was on the surface. As we travel a little further, I start to see what I'm looking for. You can just make out the frame of the wheel at the bottom of the vessel. As if to hold the position, dead center sits a freshwater sponge, incredible. We begin to make our way back to the surface 50 feet above. This historic dive gave me the chance and the honor to spend time with the ghosts of the past. The incredible thing about wildlife is the closer you look, the more you find. Thank you so much for joining me on this nature walk. I'm Mark Frazier and I'll see you again very soon.